Hey guys, I am here to do the announcement for my giveaway and once again I am following a technical theme where this giveaway will allow you to do another painting technique once again I'm also going to do stretch goals once we get into the actual contest once it actually starts running uh, and we we're in that you know uh, that once we hit that subscriber count and we go uh, we will have um, uh, stretch goals uh, for every tier of subscribers that we get. So let's go ahead and take a look at what you are hoping for in this contest. And of course, you've probably seen the thumbnail. You already know what it is, but I'm going to have fun with it anyway. And I'm going to do a slow reveal of what all it is. This painting technique goes within stages where the last stage is a matte varnish stage to lock in what you have done so that you can continue the painting process. So that is step four and that is coming your way. The next item that's coming in is the base color that you are going to have your model be. And with this one, I am just giving you a natural steel. We're gonna go ahead and skip Step two for a minute, because that is the that is the the killer within the set. And we're gonna go down to step one, and that is of course priming our model. And for this giveaway, as I'm giving you an actual surface primer, I'm giving you a nice brown red, which will make a whole lot more sense once you see the next item and what this technique is all about. Have you figured it out, guys? Your Next item, the main item within for this giveaway is some Vallejo chipping medium. That way you can do a weathered technique on your models. What you do is you first put your base color down and this you want it to be the color that you want underneath. So you want it kind of a rust look, a, a bottom layer look, which is why I'm giving you this primer of a red brown. Then you put down your chip medium, then your top coat color. Finally, you will take something like a sponge and, and put that in water and dab at your model. And what will happen is because of this chip medium, the top coat layer will come off. And if you use things like a sponge or, you know, you can even paint little strips of it off. Um, that's how you will get that chipped effect once you have gotten your chipping all done to your satisfaction then you would put your matte varnish on top of it that'll lock it in so as you continue painting and continue doing things you don't change that um that chipping that you've done because you might want to go in there and put some you know black lining in there for some dark spots or some white spots or whatever um so you'd want to you'd want to protect what you have done I can also announce that our first stretch goal, because especially when you get to doing like say the matte varnish stage, it is so much easier to do through a airbrush. And I know they sell the big bottles of airbrush thinner, which is good, but I also like the little ones. That way you have a nice little one to work with while you're, you know, something little, little that you can have in your hand that you can work with and just refill as needed, you are getting one of the Vallejo actual airbrush thinner little mini bottles. Um, this will be our stretch goal. So what is our count? Once we hit 300 subscribers, this giveaway will begin. Then within that, we will do another every 25 subscribers. We will start adding things like this airbrush thinner, or maybe maybe we'll see a black come. Maybe we'll see a white paint come as the stretch goals go down the line. Maybe a different steel color. Ooh, who knows? Um, but that's how the contest is going. 
Uh, once we hit 300 subscribers, the contest will officially begin. You, of course, will get the paints. I will go ahead and I will give you a uh, agitator. I will go ahead, even though you don't really need an agitator for the chip medium or for um, or the matte varnish, you can maybe do it, but you, may, you really would only need one. Um, but for those, you don't really need the agitator as much, but I want to try to stay consistent. You will get eight agitators, 10 if we hit the stretch goal and further on. Additionally, I am sticking with my minifigures. Well, I will also allow the winner to choose a minifigure pack, and we will keep with these same five, and I will let them pick one of these five packs um, that they will be able to add on to the prize. So we got, you know, just from go, these four Vallejo paints, eight agitators, and a Lego minifigure pack with stretch goals once we actually hit that 300 count mark. Once again, these contests are 100% for you guys. They are a huge thank you for all that you do to help me with the channel and to keep me going and motivated. Uh, I cannot thank you guys enough. That's why I do it. That's also why I really try to focus on painting techniques or techniques so you're not just getting something, you're getting something to help hopefully up your painting game. Until next time, guys, and good luck within this giveaway. I'll see you next time. Bye.